dry brushing. What? Why? How? Thanks for clicking on Simply Tanika. I am Tanika. If you are new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Let's hang out a while. If you are returning, welcome back. Let's get those babies, ladies. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty. What's up, fertility fam? How are you? All right, you guys asked for it. Here it is. This is the video about dry brushing. What? Why? How? Yeah, let's get into it. So what is dry brushing? Dry brushing is an Ayurvedic practice called Garsana, and it's dry brushing of the skin, in case you're wondering. Not dry brushing, I don't know. Dry brushing of the skin. <laughs> okay, why? Why would anyone want to dry brush? So the goal of dry brushing is to move lymph towards the heart to mix it in with the blood. Uh, with the ultimate goal, of sending metabolic waste and toxins, stored toxins, like we talked about before it being stored in the fat, I was worried about that because I'm doing uh, weight loss. So those stored toxins, they're being moved to the kidney and liver for elimination because that is the job of the kidney and liver to eliminate. So we're helping our body do its job better by moving all of the lymph toward the heart, getting it out in the circulatory system. If you are not familiar with it, just in case, what are lymphs? What is the lymphatic system? Lymphatic system is a network of tissues and organs that help rid the body of toxins, uh, waste, and other unwanted materials. The primary function of the lymphatic system is to transport lymph, huh, makes sense, right? Which is a fluid containing infection fighting white blood cells throughout the body. So the lymphatic system helps move like your little army all through the body, similar to how the circulatory system moves blood throughout the body. So lymphatic system, circulatory system, those are the only two systems in your body. All right, what are the benefits? Like why would anybody want a dry brush? Well, there are tons and tons and tons, literally, of reasons to dry brush. I'm going to list three that are great for fertility or those trying to conceive. The number one is hormone balance. I don't know how many times in a cycle we have to talk about our hormones, but we do it. Uh, it's because they are important. And so dry brushing helps. The lymphatic system helps to circulate hormones throughout the body, right? It's moving things around. And it follows that stagnant lymph may not get hormones where they need to be as effectively. Meaning if you're, it's just like, if you know if you live in Florida and there's swamp water the water is kind of sitting there it's stagnant bugs are flying around it's not moving whereas if you go into a forest there's a stream that water is like flowing through so moving things along in your lymphatic system that uh, the lymph is moving through and your um, circulation is also improved so everything is moving through the lymphatic system is carrying hormones and helping them be distributed when you're dry brushing, it helps to balance your hormones because it's moving things around where they go. It's also why like walking is good. I sit down most of the day in my job and so things can kind of pool here in my leg area. There are major um, lymph nodes in our um, pelvic region and so sitting is like pinching them so with walking helps the dry brushing helps with that i've been doing dry brushing in the morning before i suit up to go out for my daily exercise i think it's helping uh, my skin is clear my energy is great i can't pinpoint it to one thing i think it's like a magic concoction dry brushing is definitely something i'm going to keep on the list and that i attribute to feeling better overall number two benefit for fertility detox so the lymphatic system is one of two circulation systems in the body. I mentioned that. The other is the cardiovascular system. So you have the lymphatic system, cardiovascular system. While the cardiovascular system pumps blood, the lymphatic system collects blood that leaks out of vessels and returns it to its place. So it's kind of like, I don't know, the sheriff. It's running around looking for the bad guys blood has leaked out it's like rounding them up maybe it's a cowboy rounding them up and saying hey hey get over here get back where you belong that's not its only job though it also distributes immune factors and hormones as we mentioned before while carrying away metabolic waste and toxins so you see a theme it's out with the bad in with the good 
So hormones, it's helping move around. Um, it's helping remove like stress in our system and detox and anything that's built up. It's helping to sort of get that out and carrying away metabolic waste. And it's helping to distribute properly immune factors and hormones. So it's moving out metabolic waste and toxins and things that your body doesn't need. And it's moving in hormones and immune factors that your body does need. It's distributing the, those hormones to support a nice hormonal balance. And it's distributing lymph to help your immune system be bolstered. I think that's always good. The healthier we are overall, the more improved our fertility is overall. All right, and third, last but not least, de-stress. Oh my goodness, how many times have we heard that? It's a joke, right? When people tell us now, that's the joke. If one more person tells me to relax, I'm going to strangle them. Um, if we do this, dry brushing, no one has to tell us that. So it is a form of self-care. Before I get too mushy mushy, like let me get into the facts first. Dry brushing helps to balance the autonomic nervous system, which supports adrenal function by reducing stress. So it helps reduce the stress, which helps support the, the nervous system and the adrenal function. That's huge. And it just is like a little me time. So I'm going to show you how to do it and I'll show you how to help relax while you do it. But you're, indulge me for one second and I'll get into like the warm fuzzy stuff that I um, researched as well. So it's a great way to improve our mind-body connection, which I think is so important on this fertility journey. Half of it is a mind game, maybe 80% of it. You have to keep your head in the game. You've got to be connected to yourself in our busy world, especially like I live in Manhattan. I'm always bustling, hustling, running around. Sometimes I'm in my head, you know, I think that's what's been great about walking in the morning and running is that I am actually connected to my body and aware of like my breathing, if I'm sweating, if I need to slow down, if I'm tired, like I am fully engaged with my body. Dry brushing also helps you to have that same sort of engagement. So it's just a good way to help us connect to our physical self. So spending a few minutes of dry brushing, Try some deep breathing while you're doing it um, at the same time so that you get multi-task the benefits of it, right? Oxygenate all the blood cells that need oxygen and brain cells and we're gonna do all that. You also can, if you do it in the evening, which it's Friday when I'm recording this, so I'm going to do it in the evening. I'm gonna light a few candles. I've got some essential oil. Uh, I'm gonna take a lavender incense in there, which I love lavender. I'm also gonna take lavender essential oil. I'm gonna rub it on my temples before I get in there. I'm not gonna put any oil where I'm going to dry brush because it is just that. It's meant to be a dry brush. But I'll show you how that you how you can incorporate this into your self-care regime. And um, yeah, it's another simple way to be good to yourself. It doesn't cost much and uh, it's a one-time investment of a brush. You want a nice stiff bristled brush. I have mine where it has the hand strap on it. Some people have it with the handle. The handle gets awkward for me. Mainly I have a wrist injury and so gripping it and trying to hold it. I am relatively flexible and so I can reach like the center of my back and go up this way, you know, like here. If you are not flexible, I recommend the one with the handle. But you can get a brush from anywhere from four to twelve dollars. I'll put a link to some of the brushes that are on the market below just so you have an idea of what they look like and the variations that they come in. I also want to recommend that you get a nice brush cleaner because when you are brushing, dry brushing, you're brushing off dead skin cells, right? So after a while it kind of gets, you don't see it, but where are the skin cells going? Um, there's oil on your skin and all that other fun stuff. So I would just recommend brushing it like how you would brush your makeup brushes, which is how I think of it. So I just have a nice, it's called Eco Tools and it is makeup brush shampoo. Um, let me go closer. Uh, the focus hates when I do that. But yeah, it is free of parabens and phthalates, which we know are bad for fertility. And it's dermatologist tested, it's hypoallergenic, it removes more than 90% of makeup, so hopefully it removes more than 90% of dry skin cells. So that's it. That is the what and the why. Let's head into the bathroom and I will show you the how.
already made it to the restroom. Don't worry, I have my clothes on, mostly. Um, so we are going to do a little bit of the dry brushing. The one thing you want to remember is that you're moving it up toward the heart. Um, so your limbs, your, your brush stroke should be going toward your heart. Remember we talked about helping the circulatory system and moving the lymph, uh, the lymph to the heart, to the circulatory system. So you want to do that. So we'll start with the feet. Um, you want to brush the bottom of your feet. You just, um, upward toward you and then we'll start with the you want to brush then the top of your feet and the top of your legs so I'll show you a bit of that and then you move up toward your thigh and you're brushing there this is also meant to help with cellulite even though I know that's not our primary concern when we're trying to get pregnant just FYI letting you know and then we go into our, we have a huge lymph nodes in our pelvic region in the fold there. So you want to brush those and you want to take them and brush them upward. I'm just holding my brush like that. Again, the brush is dry. Brush, 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 brush. Now the tummy region is a little different. You don't want to brush it straight up. You want to brush it in a circular region. Re uh, you want to brush it in a circular motion for a number of reasons, um, but it's not a direct shot up to the heart just because of your internal organs here. So I just do a circular motion. I actually do two. I do a circular motion in this lower and like the uterine area. So just small circles right around like Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax off. And then I do this upper region and the separate stroke. And then a big donut and connect it all around. Um, you want to dry brush your sides. You want to reach around. You want to get your liver, your kidneys, and your adrenal. So I'm going to switch hands here and brush, 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 brush. And then we want to do our arms again. Brush the tops of your hands, brush them toward your heart, palms of your hands. Take turns, make sure everybody gets a little love. Every limb is loved by you. So short, firm strokes with the brush. This is helping circulation, helping move the lymphs. You have more lymph nodes under your arms, in your underarm area, so you wanna brush downward. I obviously am wearing a shirt. I promised my uncle I'd keep most of my clothes on. So, there, you're brushing. And then in the chest down, you wanna brush. Obviously you're not gonna brush your nipples, but brush down, down, down. Um, I do the top of my neck as well, brush down. Probably not again, I get to do too much because I think just gravity and skin brushing down on the neck is probably not like good for physical appearances, but a little light brushing. So yeah, that is kind of it. That's a highlight of dry brushing. Candles are going, incense are going. Here, I'll show you what it looks like when the lights are dim. I have them on to record, but I'll show you so you get an idea. Yeah. And remember we read to incorporate the deep breathing. So this is an opportunity to um, oxygenate all of our cells while we're brushing. And just a good time to connect. And be alone with our thoughts. It's very relaxing. If you have an animal, no judgment, dog or cat, you know how they love it when you brush them. It's that same kind of feeling. It's just like purring or cooing. You're just like, ooh. Um, so yeah, that is dry brushing. So. If you like this video, what are you gonna do? I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Please share it with everybody that you know. Infertility should not be something any woman is ashamed of. And as always, remember to take really good care of yourself. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm. <sighs> Baby does to you all.
To make those rainbows in my mind when I think of you sometime and I want to